As you know, our research expo really showcases uh, the great work our graduate students are producing uh, during the year here. And uh, it really is an event uh, to foster collaboration between uh, our alumni, our industry partners, and then our graduate students. There's a reason why we are ranked as one of the top 10 engineering schools uh, in the world. Uh, this is uh, the research which is performed here in the Jacob School. My end goal is to create an early cancer diagnostic. Now they've shown that the uh, high molecular weight DNA is a very good secondary biomarker for whether or not you have cancer. There's a lot of uh, studies on it. Uh, so our goal is to be able to isolate these specific disease biomarkers and then to genotype them and tell you whether or not you have cancer and what type of cancer it is in such a way that you don't destroy the DNA sample, which occurs by any other technique. All you have to do to see innovation is go look at any post or listen to any of the talks. Uh, this is a place that, that just generates innovation. It comes shining through. One of the things I have right here is this is a protruded strip. So right here you see this is made out of um, full carbon fiber. And what we have here is we can see the strain gauges because this was tested within a bridge system. I really did see an awful lot of uh, examples of people pulling together different skill sets to do something that was innovative and not just simply incremental improvements to what had been going on. And of course that's what we look for in graduate research programs. So I was delighted to see that. So I hope that uh, you got a good taste today of what's going on here in the Jacob School in terms of research in all of our six engineering departments. And uh, our role here in the Jacob School is to provide uh, not just the intellectual capital, but also the human capital for uh, our economy. You know, there might, I'll pop the shot if this could overlap with things that were there. Uh, and he might like that, because that's a, you know, and I might be able to help him. Uh, So when you actually figure out, uh, then you can actually be able to identify 